Let's look at the two-stroke diesel engine cycle. Once again, the five key events occur, but in a different way. At the start of air intake, the piston is moving towards bottom dead centre at the end of a power impulse. The piston uncovers the inlet ports and the blower delivers fresh air into the cylinder. The exhaust valve opens. The piston reaches bottom dead centre and starts its move upwards. Incoming air scavenges exhaust gases out of the cylinder. The piston continues up, covers the air inlet ports and cuts off the air supply from the blower. The exhaust valve closes. The piston approaches top dead centre, compressing the air and raising its temperature. Just before the piston reaches top dead centre, the injector sprays in fuel. The heat of the compressed air ignites the fuel. Pressure from the expanding gases forces the piston down the cylinder in a power impulse. Before the piston reaches bottom dead centre, the exhaust valve opens and burned gases escape. The inlet port is uncovered and it admits fresh air from the blower. The piston reaches bottom dead centre. The cycle is ready to repeat itself. All five events occur in just two strokes. How many revolutions does the crankshaft do in one engine cycle? One revolution per cycle.